In this lesson, you will learn how to create a defect after failure analysis. Failure analysis is available on any test run error, especially when talking about automated test cases. You would like to review the failure and identify if it was a test script error or there was a bug which was detected. Pipelines module provides a great capability for doing failure analysis. Let's go to the pipelines module. So pipeline has been completed and executed. You will see in the overview what are the test run failures which were executed, which were performed uh, already and which are not handled. So you can see here I have two new failures uh, and both are assigned and, and there is no failure which is not handled. This is very useful to keep a complete overview if you have a large set of test cases and um, a large, large set of failures to keep the overview that all the failures are handled. Now on my pipeline, I can see a, a, a bubble with a number uh, indicating the test cases which are assigned to me. I can click on it directly and here I to test run errors uh, which uh, occurred or test failures for the automated runs and now I can do my further analysis and if I say this is a potential defect I need to create a defect I can do it directly by selecting the test run error and create a report defect and now a new defect is um, inserted or uh, the new defect form opens where I can now um, fill in additional fields and decide in which release this uh, defect was uh, detected, what should be the team um, taking care about the defect, what kind of defect it was and all additional um, attributes I can fill out here. If needed I can also insert um, the description which is inserted out of the box uh, with the information of the test and also the number of the build uh, where the test uh, error happened and once I have uh, filled out all the information I can click on add and this defect will be added and attached and linked automatically to this automated run error. So you can see here I have a a defect linked with this test run error and this defect can be then um, walked through the defect workflow until it is fixed and when it is fixed the test uh, the test run uh, or test case can be executed again